Welcome to our video. Willkommen zu unserem Video. So this episode we're doing Oktoberfests. Uh, it's a little bit about Mars themselves, but it's uh, also about Oktoberfest, the festival. So uh, be prepared. So don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the little bell. So you keep in touch. Yeah. So if you're wondering why we're standing so far over on this side of the screen, it's because we have some special guests. We've got, you know Jerry, he's been on a couple of episodes. Hello. And he brought his brother Steve all the way from, Hello. is it? Maryland. Maryland, yeah, I was gonna say Virginia, but I was like, no, he lives Hello. in Maryland. Yeah. DC yeah. metro area. Yeah. Around there. There we go, so we got some cups. And as you can see, we have quite an array of beers here. Uh, I think we're gonna start with, Polliner. Polliner. Yeah, there we go. I'll start with the, good one, the best one first. Yeah. So, uh, Oktoberfest have got to be one of my favorite styles. Um, the BJCP, we're not going to go through all the details, but the, the overall impression of Oktoberfest, I'm sorry, Marzen's, according to the BJCP, is an elegant malty German amber lager with a clean, rich, toasty, and bready malt flavor, restrained bitterness, and a dry finish that encourages another drink which I agree with. Uh, the overall malt impression is soft, elegant, complex, and a rich aftertaste that is never cloying or heavy. So I like how they used elegant twice. It's a, you know, someone, whoever wrote this style description you know, really it, liked it. The we were reading, you were reading these sections comparing it to the, um, the Vienna Lager and the Fest beer. Yep. I don't remember seeing the word elegant in those other two. Yeah, no. I mean, really? I looking at those I two. Mean, I mean, my memory could be off, but... And I think that's the 2015 description. Yeah, yeah. 2015. Now, oh, that you was, get robbed. Right, but it was for the, it was for the Mars, and just not the Vienna. That's fine. Yeah, I don't need as much. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I give you a little guy. less. Yeah. Oh, you get that... Got a little sulfur off of it right out of the game. Yeah, you do. And I like that. I, I mean, I think that's characteristic. Yeah. Well, it doesn't carry over into the into the right. flavor, so. This is really good. This yeah. Is bready. Yeah. That is yep. Yeah, I, I just love that. It's so it's sweet, but it still gives you that dry finish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I was asking these guys if they'd been to any Oktoberfest, and they said no. Beer festivals this time of year. Um, but I, I used to frequent the the uh, Oktoberfest up in Breckenridge. That was always a good time. So I, I'm lucky because Oktoberfest falls in September, which is also the month that our wedding anniversary is. So we always go away, and I was able to talk the wife into going up to Breckenridge a couple times. Yeah. I haven't been, haven't done that yet. Maybe next year. Yeah. We'll do that. That sounds like a plan. This COVID thing has kind of thrown us for a loop, so. Yeah, I don't know if they even had it this year. Yeah, I don't oh, know they did. It. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, this time of year up in the mountains here, all the aspens are turning, and it's just this is the best time to go up in the mountains anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not covered best festival. Oh, but yeah. I need, to, I need to find yeah. that. Yeah. And you've got an Oktoberfest coming up on tap now, right? On uh, the U Brew. The U Brew one, yes. Recently? Yes. Um, now, you know, whether that's going to really be a Marzen or not. Well, See, that's what I want to study now. Is, is yeah. my Oktoberfest going to be more of a Marzen or a Vienna Lager? I'm going to have to kind of look at my recipe and then taste mm -hmm. it and see what it really is. And, and you know, some of what we were, reading, we were reading today, it was like, you know, a lot of brewers don't even really care what that base style is as <laughs> long as it resembles what people think of yeah. as an Oktoberfest yeah. so that they can market it. As an Oktoberfest, you're always splitting hairs between styles, right? And yeah, whether it's yeah. one or the other. Well, that's what we were talking about before you guys came here. Was that there's the Marzins and Fest beers, right? And the Fest beer, from what I was reading today, is I guess the Fest beer is actually what they now serve in Germany. That's right. what they serve at yeah. Oktoberfest, exactly. And the Marzins are what they kind of market to the Americans, right? So, and Fest beers are lighter; they're not as amber, right. and right. so. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that one was filled right to the rim. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well. that, that's what I like. Because you know what they oxidize. <clears throat> yeah, these, these, you can fill up. Yeah, so this one here, Corobus. what's the name of this one? This is a Corobus. Corobus C O R O E B U S. It's from Pikes Peak Lager House. I uh, gotta say, if you haven't been to Pikes Peak Lager House, you should visit. Yeah, it's on our list this week. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a Mars and Lager 5.7% 20 IBU. Oh, did you have the stats on? Uh, 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 yeah, the polliner was just 5.8%. No, 
It says no IBU, but that's they're liars. Yeah, they're definitely liars. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and that's I was just when you're talking about the malt bill, I was just thinking that I thought I read somewhere I'm I can't remember if Oktoberfest are made with Munich malt or if it's Munich and Vienna as well, but there's like some competition between Munich and Vienna malt because they're both the technology to malt it like that both came about at the same time right. in two different locations. That's you know. So I guess it's worth mentioning, I don't know if we did, but the Pollander is actually a as a style uh, commercial example in the BJCP. The rest of them are ones we just kind of picked up since it's this time of year. So um, we did that one first so we kind of get a baseline of what it should be. So yeah. just to kind of mention that. So the only reason I mention that is because I think we'll be comparing all of these to that one. Yeah, and on that note, I mean, I, this doesn't finish as crisp. This is mm -hmm. delicious, by yeah. the way. Doesn't finish with that same crispness that the polliner did. Yeah, yeah. It's not as soft. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah. and I, I almost get a little bit of a, something that reminds me of a smoky flavor yeah. on the finish. I don't know if it's yeah. really smoky yeah. or not. It's just a little yeah, bit of the same. same. Yeah. Yep. And that being said, I think it's delicious. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. All the lagers that they had up there were just amazing i mean yeah i'm excited if anything some of them might have been a little too clean really but i mean they're just so and just crystal clear i mean we're going to be doing an episode on the lager house just with some photos and our impressions coming up but uh we're talking yeah. about possibly going there tomorrow night but most likely sunday afternoon yeah yeah spending yeah. some time yeah and it's, it's great cool. style yeah. too it's really nicely decorated mm -hmm. and Hmm. They had a virtual tour. Chris had done a virtual tour online, and I, I watched that mm -hmm. where he's kind of walking through how I'm explaining everything. But other yeah. than that, driven past it a couple times. But yeah, I couldn't see the photos from from inside. And that there's like another area that with a restaurant. That yeah, they're gonna like share. a food, almost like a. I, yeah, I that, think he said food court, but well, kind of. I mean, I they're gonna so, have like yeah. a sushi place. What do they call it? A co koati. Kawadi. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kawadi Uprising, I think is what they called right. it. So, hmm. and they, the waitress was saying they had like a sushi bar, and then of course them, and then a couple different places sounded. I think awesome. a stage, too. Yeah, I think a stage. stage. Yep. I think so. And then wow. they have a shared liquor license, so you can buy a beer at Pikes Peak <clears throat> Lager House and bring it around with you. Yeah. And that whole block, I think, is headed that direction. Yeah. 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 Fat Sully's, Denver Biscuit yeah. Company, there's a Mexican restaurant on the other side, I think. Yeah. I read something about the city's talk about making that whole area. That'd be awesome. Can, that would be. You walk around yeah. with drinks, and that, that's going to be cool. The whole block and Red Swings right across the street. Yeah, right. yeah. So I mean, God forbid someone has a beer outside. I know, right? It's, it's, well, <laughs> Let us not become New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I heard that happened. I mean, January of this year. So oh, look where yeah. we are now. Oh man. <laughs> you know, so I don't want that to happen again. I mean, that'd be like. A, you can carry a bottle of hard liquor in a brown paper bag and drink right. that, but you can't carry a beer Because <laughs> right. no one knows what's in the bag. Right. Is that soda, Mommy? I think some places are learning that that's actually, you know, economic advantage to having people be able to do that. Right. There is actually a town in Northern Virginia who's a, that started to allow that in their downtown area, mm -hmm. open containers. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, I understand open containers with, you know, in cars and right. driving and stuff. Yeah. You don't want people drinking right. and driving and you know oh yeah the beer's open but i wasn't drinking it you know so i can kind of see that <laughs> the only one in the car dude <laughs> yeah right. so well that is pretty pretty good yeah this one is really like nice late here as i don't know if it's starting to warm up or if i'm kind of stirring it here but i wasn't getting that sulfur nose at the beginning i'm getting yeah, a little bit of it now yeah i'm not tasting it if anything this is kind of mellowing out i mean you know, like softening up, like you mentioned before. Yeah. yeah, I don't know that I'm getting sulfur from it. Yeah, my nose is not yeah. famous I'm for. I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to stir it up. I want to say it's, it was less carbonated than the polymer too. Really, I thought yeah. it was more. Yeah. I was getting a little bit more of a carbonic bite on it. Yeah. I think that's where some of the bitterness was coming from. <clears throat> it could be the crowler. You know, I I, I wonder. You know, if yeah. you lose a little bit when they transfer from that. Yeah, like to the crowler. Well, that thing was full, really, really right. full. I'm glad. Yeah. So Cogstone's crawlers are like that too. You pop one of those and you always get splashed. Yeah. Right. Nice. So did you have this when we were there that one time? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Yeah, you're singing his praises then, so that's praise. Yeah, that, and well, for I good like, reason. Yeah, I like this. This is a, this is a nice beer. Yeah. Steve, yeah. you're out. I think that's our signal. <laughs> There's one right down there. So our next one is Oktoberfest from Bells. I saw this one in the uh, in the store. What's well, funny is. I had bought a bunch of, I was telling Jesse before, or before you guys got here, uh, we had bought a bunch of Oktoberfest for the tastings, and I recently filled my, uh, you know, ran out of room in my keyser for kegs, and I moved a bunch of beer into the fridge in the house, mm -hmm. and I thought it was all the beer that we had for tastings, and when I was looking at it, I saw this bell sticking out. I was like, oh good. I put all the Oktoberfests in there. So the ones in the keys are, are free game. And I started, I drank them all. And then today I was like, I was looking and I was like, oh, that's the only one left. <laughs> so luckily we had no shortage though. This one's oh. a little lighter. Yeah, yeah, just a little more copper than. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the. I got yeah, it mixed yeah. up. Yeah, yeah Pike's Bells Peak's more copperish yeah. than Bell's. Bell's is. a bit lighter. And for these Morrisons, I associate you know that, that darker copper color. So you know, you're reading about the Fest beer. I'm thinking that the lighter, a lighter version of an October Fest mm -hmm. would be right. more of a Fest beer. Is what I'm yeah. you know, thinking I think, in my mind. I think I, that's you know, exactly I, right. Not to say yeah. that this isn't. A Marzen, but is it? I would say it's actually a Marzen. Well, Oktoberfest. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Marzen. Yeah. Marzen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some of them just say Oktoberfest, but I think you can use Marzen right. Oktoberfest. I, I feel like it's yeah. drinking more like a fest beer though than, the, than yeah. a Marzen. A little lighter. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely, to me, I get more of a toasty note from it. A more mm -hmm. green flavor. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm a fan of this one too, as well. So. That's nice. But, you know. The first one and this one reminds me of a lot of those beers we had in that Costco holiday German oh, beer yeah. last year. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, there's just something about that, that crispness you get out of the well, lagers. Also, they're getting they're that crisp clean. flavor yeah. out of it. Yeah, yeah and, crisp. And, and all of them had a really strong grain flavor mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. And I'm tasting that grain mm -hmm. right yeah. here. And it's, this is definitely grainier and crisp. Would you guys mind if we paused filming, finish these off? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. We're back. So uh, our next uh, entry is Wibtoberfest. This is from Wibby Brewing. Are you, have you had much from Wibby Brewing? Wibby. I've had some Wibby. They've quickly become a favorite with us. They, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. I think they only do loggers. And yeah, and where I had and they're, I feel like in, I know really, we had them in GBF. Oh, they're GBF. up in Denver. Okay, in Denver. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they only do loggers and they do them well. Huh. Oh, the Dunkel. I think. Um, yeah, with the Moon Door Dunkel yeah, we Dunkel raved was, about, oof, yeah, and then uh, I think I got a my. Is it my Bach? We got another one at home too. Here's it's a nice, uh, nice copper color. Yeah, that's a nice color. Here, I'll give you the rest. Thank you. That's very nice. So this one is 5.36% ABV. Man, that's very that's exact. Very precise. 5.367285. <laughs> I, like, I like their their precision on this. Is like, yeah. And then 24 IBU. When I put ABV on my homebrew, I always put a little tilde. Oh, Before, you know, yeah. In my yeah, notebook, I do five right. percent. Yeah. I don't want to waste the character space for my little labels on the. You need to do that for your. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. Yeah. Not very crisp, which is not kind of not Dutch quite as malty either. Not as crisp. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I get some bread type flavors, but. Yeah. A bit. A bit grainy though at the, on the back end of that and finishes yeah, it is with that. I like it. Yeah. I'm yeah, I think fine. if I wasn't having it next to yeah, all right. of the others, I mean, because so far I'd have to say this is it's probably my least favorite of the ones we've had so, so far. So, but least I, favorite because it's not strictly it's least it's the most derivative from an October vest. Yes, the farthest from. Yes. Yeah, derivative. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using Today I learned. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's like a word of the day calendar, walking, talking. Yeah, it seems a little too hoppy. 
You know what's what's interesting. I mean, not so much hoppy, so but it doesn't say that it's a marzen. The balance is more on bitter on the bitter side. Mm. It doesn't specifically say if it's marzen or um, a fest beer or well, hmm. we assumed what the name of Toberfest. Toberfest beer. Well, well, it says it's an Oktoberfest log. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, maybe it's just their version. Maybe it's, it's a cross between a fest beer and October. Maybe it's an homage. An homage. But the color, I, I definitely think the color is right. a bit more reflective of a, a Marzen. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's definitely so, lighter. Right. It does have a sweet of a finish. I thought I got it. The crispness was starting to come out after the first couple of yeah. for me. But, but like I said, if I was having this just by itself, I would be like, hey, this is great. Mm -hmm. So this one, our next entry is Ak. Tuberfest. So this is a Marzen style lager, and interestingly enough, it's from Two Roads Brewing out of Stratford, Connecticut. Yeah, uh, five point eight percent. And so. you bought this one, right? Yeah, I found that one at uh, Coltrane. Actually. Yeah, because mm -hmm. this one's actually near where I grew up. Now that I think about it, I've had some other Two Roads before. Have you? Yeah. Overall impression. Honestly, don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but one I of just those, know the name, and I know I've had it before. So. One of those days where just you had uh, eighty-five different beers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, you, you guys are going. You guys are going for a hundred this weekend. Is that correct? <laughs> oh, we need to we for a hundred this week. Go back and count. Yeah. Or maybe for the week. For the week, I think. Yeah. This one smells hoppier. I get a bit more sweetness, at least more than the yeah, last beer. It's like yeah. a honey sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it was a little odd to me. Yeah. Yeah, that is. And it really sticks to your tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, I think it's one of those words. I don't think it's really an Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. per se, strictly speaking, style-wise, but it's drinkable. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm enjoying it. So, you were going to talk about the difference between Marzen's and Fest beers? Uh, I don't think we did. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay, never mind. This is a lot lighter. Was I here too. for that? Yeah, it's, you, you, were, you, were, you were You're physically here. You may have been, you may have checked out for a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Petite mall. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Yeah, the color the color is a lot lighter. It, it's, yeah, I mean, it still absolutely. says Marzen style lager, so it's you know mm -hmm. when we're talking about that difference between the Fest and the Marzen. It's like it's, it's a really yellow. blurry line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I would call that more yellow than yeah, it's amber. A yellow side on. More golden than amber. Yeah. Until you hold it with something behind you. Right. It looks very <laughs> orange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's got a. The greenish <laughs> taste to it. <laughs> it's not a bad beer. No, I know. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd still be drinking this all afternoon and watching football. It's yeah, good. very drinkable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when we're going through a bunch of beers that are the same style, you know, yeah. you kind of tend to get a little picky. Yeah. Right. And yeah. it's easier to see the differences between. And I'll, I'll I'll say it's a pretty can. Oh, oh yeah, I like the art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it's, that's well, true. they got their inspiration from four noses. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the same guy on both cans. I don't know. <laughs> Open horn. It does say Einprost on there though. Einprost. When you go to Germany for Oktoberfest, do you actually get to to blow one of those? I think if horns? you brought it, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's checked baggage. Yeah. It doesn't, <laughs> I don't know how those we'll travel, honestly. I wonder if they make like <laughs> hand carts for them. <laughs> so, do you guys want to hear my sad Oktoberfest story? I actually went to Oktoberfest when I was in Germany. What? I actually Go ahead. went there, and they have the, the giant steins. Yeah. And we're like, that would make a great souvenir. And of course, you're not supposed to do that. So, we, you know, stuffed them in a backpack and we took them, took them home and wrapped it up and shipped it home. And I was leaving Germany and it broke. Oh. oh I was so sad. So, I hadn't actually, honestly, got a giant two liter. Oktoberfest line that broke. So you're not supposed to use them as souvenirs? 
Well, no, they would like those back. I mean, they're not supposed to keep oh, them. I'm sure you can buy them okay. somewhere. Okay, I, I got wasn't going to buy them. That's I got you. So you <laughs> pay a talk. ticket and you get the stein and you're supposed to give it back to you. Stash yeah, the it's stein. Like a, yeah, it's yeah. like at a bar. I mean, you're sitting at a table, they bring you a stein. Gotcha. And you drink okay. It and they okay, come gotcha. And collect the glasses and yeah. wash them and reuse them, I'm sure. Stashed it in the man purse and karma caught up with you before you got it. That was them. probably what it was. It yeah. was karma. Yeah. We're in a cargo pocket. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> like he crapped his pants or something. <laughs> so, yeah, when I went to although at Oktoberfest, that would probably that's not that's you know, not saw that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not till later in the evening. Well, yeah, that was yeah. later in the yeah. day for sure. Yeah, and Breck, you you can buy a stein, but you don't need to. And, oh. but, you know, I thought you had brought your own stein and kind of traveled oh, around. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. How about the boots? Do you have to have your own boot, or do they serve those too? I don't know if they do boots. I don't remember. This is twenty years ago. All, all my experience from boot is from that. Uh, what's that silly beer movie? Oh, oh, the beer beer fest. Didn't beer fest is it? Where they have the drinking competitions? Yeah, and they drink out of the boots. And yeah, they, uh, yeah. So I saw it once. It was a pretty dumb movie, but that's I all my experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't savoring any of the beer. But uh, so our next beer here is Haas from Great Divide. Uh, what's Haas at? Um, oh, there we go. 6.2% yep. ABV and 27 IBUs. You got a third cup. Where'd the third cup That's come his. Uh, is he trying to infect you? Probably. <laughs> Boy, that That's why you're calling it. Yeah. Honey sweetness on that one is just remarkable. Yeah. It really sticks with you. Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. That just sounds gross. October. What is that? That's an Oktoberfest. I gotta get it removed. I gotta go see the doc about my Oktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about the name of this beer. Why? Why Haas? Um, he's got an axe. Yeah. What is the association with loggers and lumberjacks? Isn't there some sort of association? Is there an association with that? that? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just in my own muddled brain. Lager, lager. Oh, there you go. That's what it is. Yeah. Could be, yeah. <laughs> well, again, I, that's another beer I really enjoy, but I don't know that it stacks up well against the, mm-hmm. the other Oktoberfest. Yeah. Oh, it's kind I of, mean, I've had it by itself a number of times. So I'm like, hey, that's yeah. great. I had it last week. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was decent. That seems kind of sweet too. I don't know if that's a, a pulled over from right. the two roads or if it's something with this one. Hmm. And I'm a fan of Great Divide stuff. Mm. Yeah. One of my favorite breweries. Although we went to Castle Rock this weekend and we didn't swing by the roadhouse up there. You know, we should have. Oh. You know, Oh, that's right. They opened that yeah, up. I've yeah. forgotten about that. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So our final one is from Four Noses. I like how you pushed your cup in there so he can't get his in there. <laughs> Making sure he doesn't double dip on that one. <laughs> It's obvious you guys are brothers, and then <laughs> nope, <me> first. <laughs> you should have seen us in uh, high school. <laughs> That's why I eat fast now. <laughs> oh yeah, Jerry would get it otherwise. So it's fast it. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little darker. Yeah, a little yeah, bit darker, darker, but still not as coppery as some of the other ones. Yeah. yeah. So this one's a six point one percent ABV and twenty five IBU. Have you seen the? Um, the Imperial Oktoberfest from Avery. No. Oh, the Kaiser. That no. Good. Maybe on Friday. I've got you a couple of hands. <laughs> Imperial, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's right. like it's Oktoberfest at like 8.1 or 8.6, something like that. Ooh. No, I'll have to look yeah. for that. Avery, it's, yeah, it's got, I'll maybe have a can yeah. this weekend. Well, if I haven't picked up anything for the festivities, so if anybody has any requests, let me know. I'm guessing there's going to be plenty of beer? I'm thinking so. Yeah, with, with this crew, yeah, I don't think we're going to be light on anything. If you don't show up with anything, I won't tell anybody, and it's okay. <laughs> you know, I don't like being a mooch, so I'll show up with something. I was just thinking today that I could fill up some two-liter bottles, because it'd be easier than washing bottles and bottling some mm-hmm. beer. I could just rinse a two-liter out, and it's like, do I need to fill up to two liters? Shouldn't I just stick with one? 
I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. You know what if my malt sensory has been destroyed? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. Because <laughs> yeah. as we've gone through, we should go I'm back less and less malt. We should do the IPA the trick. <clears throat> we still got a little bit of the Pikes Peak one. So to be honest, I think we had one of those before. I had one of those last week or something, and I wasn't. Yeah, we're super, real keen. I wasn't it, super yeah. impressed with it, which is something for me to say about four noses. Good, normally I like all their stuff. So this one was kind of. Well, yeah. That tastes just as malty as it did before. <clears throat> yeah. I think the four noses, it tastes, I feel like it's at least, holding it side by side with the Haas, it's a little bit um, sweeter maybe. The Haas, going back to the Haas, tastes a bit more crisp. The Haas does. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit I more, see with the Haas, there's a little bit more of that carbonation, um, what yeah. do you call that in your mouth, that fizzy. Yeah, the, the yeah. I think the four noses has some hop flavors or some just yeah just some hop flavor that's trying to come in at the end right. but it's not enough to really assert itself mm -hmm. and I'm just kind of making it or picking up as kind of a strangish flavor that doesn't quite belong in there right. sweet Ooh. yeah so if you have an Oktoberfest or a Marzen beer or a fest beer that's your favorite go ahead and let us know below um, leave a comment anywhere, the blog, the YouTube channel, anything you want. Yeah, email us, Twitter. Yeah, cool. yeah, for sure. Smoke signals. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just Cans of beer with messages written on them. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them through Mike's window. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Uh, did you guys have anything you wanted to add? I don't think so. No, thanks for having us. Oh, no, yeah, thanks, thanks for coming. For, Absolutely. Thanks for, really yeah, thanks for the invite. Yeah. I'll look yeah. forward to... Be on next one. At yeah. Some point. No, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, well, cheers. 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 Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. For episodes. That's the case, baby. <laughs> <laughs>